Wow, has my day been hectic so far. Um, we are on Vlogmas Day 16. It is currently almost 10 after 3. I'm headed to work soon. Um, wow, hectic day. Yeah, so I found out yesterday that my stepmom has the flu. And I also realized I have, I had neglected to get my flu shot. So... Um, I did my workouts this morning. I did um, some barbell stuff, uh, just like some hip thrusters, and I did like um, some cable kickbacks and cable hip abductors, uh, just always trying to build the booty. And and then I did a Bell's workout, um, and then I was like, oh, I'll stop at Walgreens on my way home and get my flu shot. So, it was a great idea, right? Um, I get there, and I'm sitting, and I'm waiting. Uh, it's like 30 minutes later, and they're like, your insurance doesn't cover the flu shot. And I'm like, Ugh. again, this year? So I had to pay 32 bucks to get a flu shot. Whatever. You know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Um, so I paid the 32 bucks, and I'm waiting again. It took them another 15 minutes to get my flu shot ready. So I was at Walgreens for 45 minutes waiting for my flu shot. And I finally got it and the woman jabbed my arm so now my arm's all sore. And then like, okay, so I have a very, very, very severe latex allergy. Like I can go into anaphylactic shock if I um, come in contact with latex. So I write down in like big capital letters, latex allergy, and then we go back and she's like getting everything ready and she's like, no allergies, right? Eggs, latex, and I'm like, um, yeah, I have a latex allergy. So then she had to like get a bunch of different stuff and make sure that everything was latex free. And she's like, is it latex or adhesive? I'm like, it's latex. That's why I said latex. Um, so then, oh, my arm's tired from holding up the camera. Um, so then I get home, and I'm, like, starving by this point, because I had planned on being home, like, a half hour earlier. I figure, oh, it's going to take, like, 10, 15 minutes for me to get my flu shot. No, it took 45. So then I got home, and I made lunch, and I'm eating lunch and everything, and my boyfriend's like, I found out that my paper's not due today. It's due tomorrow, so I'm going to actually do it. And then he's like but it's gonna take me all night. And I'm thinking like, I can crank out a paper in like an hour tops. So I'm like, oh, I'll write it for you. So he's like, okay, it has to be a three to five page research paper. And I'm like, oh, I would have done this. Honestly, I would have done this for him, like regardless of whether he had time to do it or not. Um, because I enjoy writing and like, I don't mean to brag, but I know I'm a better writer than him, so I know that I would be able to get him a really good grade. Um, if he had told me about this last week, because he's known about this paper, if he had asked me to do this for him last week, I would have written, written like, a bomb-ass paper. But he's so, he's, like, sending me everything that I need, like, last minute, and it's taking, like, way longer than I expect, because... Like, he has to have, like, all these different articles, but they have to be specific to the book, so he has to take all these pictures and send them to me, and then I have to write it. But, so, I got the paper done. I had a little mini freak out because everyone was trying to, like, text and call me during this. Oh, someone's at the door. Hold on. I'll catch up with you guys in a second. So, that was the dryer paper, people, which was why people were trying to contact me all before, um... Because apparently, oh, it's so dark. Because apparently my mom, like, scheduled a dryer person appointment. And, oh, this is such a great angle, right? Wait. Dryer's on. Um, so apparently my mom had scheduled, like, a dryer person to come. And no one told me. And so then like everyone's like, are you gonna be home? Are you gonna be home? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, not until four o'clock. I have to leave by like 3.20, the latest. Um, and it's currently 3.12. So I have to leave soon. But, so like, I'm trying to finish this paper and everyone's trying to call and text me and I'm like getting like really pissed off. I end up like throwing my phone across the room. <laughs> Oops. But it's all good. I got the paper done, and then I made my, my dinner, and I made my snacks and everything for work, um, and then I went and I hopped in the shower, and, like, of course, like, 
Thank God they didn't come like while I was in the shower. I left the door open just in case, but like they called just as I was getting, they came like just as I was getting out of the shower. I heard the knock on the door. So I like threw a robe on and like ran downstairs to answer the door and I'm like answering all their questions in this big fluffy robe. Thank, I mean, thank God I had a robe on hand. Um, I don't normally cause I'm not a big robe person, but so I, you know, I let all the drive people in and then I'm getting ready and then they knock again. So I have to like rush to get the rest of my clothes on and I'm running downstairs and I'm like, I'm running back and forth between like getting ready, like putting my deodorant on, brushing my teeth, brushing my hair, everything. And it turns out that the problem isn't the vent. Uh, okay. So we have like a problem with our dryer vent. It's not even in our house because I live in a condo complex, um, the vent is in our neighbor's attic. So we're like, <laughs> but everything's good. I got everything taken care of. I didn't get to fold my laundry like I was planning on, but that's okay. I'll just do it tonight. I mean, it's been sitting in my laundry basket getting wrinkled for the past three days anyway. Like one, a couple more hours isn't going to kill it. Um, but yeah, so I'm headed to work. I have clients. I'm teaching classes. I'm working the desk. Oh, speaking of work and working the desk, I ended up um, turning down the job at the vitamin shop. So what happened was we found out that the desk person at my dad's job, uh, she's a friend of ours, but um, she has to quit. She's uh, She just found out she's pregnant. Yay! their little second baby um she just found out she's pregnant and also her dad's really sick so she, and she also runs an etsy shop so her etsy shop has been like blowing up like crazy like she's been getting insane amounts of orders so she's been like swamped with that and then with her dad being sick she needs to help out at uh her mom owns a restaurant her parents own a restaurant but with her dad sick um her dad can't work so she needs to help her mom out at the restaurant and then you know like with a little baby coming you know you can't be spending all your time working and everything and I totally understand so what I'm gonna do instead uh, is I'm taking over her job and so I'm getting like more hours I'm getting guaranteed hours instead of just like teaching when my dad needs me like this way I'll be getting like set hours and set pay and everything so hopefully I'll bring in a little more cash because that's, that's my goal, to earn more monies. Yeah. But so, I'm going and I have um, clients, desk work, classes, stuff like that. And then, I think I'm going to get some Arctic Zero tonight. I want Arctic Zero. I'm craving it. Um, but yeah, so that's all for now. I am going to head to work. And I will catch up with you guys later. And that was a glimpse into my hectic life. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's see, do I have anything crazy going on tomorrow? I don't think so. Oh, I know what else I did today. I'm leaning on the counter because my arm is getting a little sore. <laughs> um, I also returned all the clothes that I had to hunt down for the vitamin shop. Um, like the button down shirts and the khaki pants and everything. I just returned them because I didn't take the tags off of them and I don't really need them. So that's 110 bucks back in my pocket. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, yeah. I will see you guys later. Bye. What did I get at the store? Let's see. Oh, chocolate Arctic Zero. I actually haven't tried the chocolate flavor before. Um, and then, oh, what else? Vanilla Arctic Zero. This one's probably one of my favorite flavors. And then I also got some peanut butter and company powdered peanut butter. I like to make sauces with this. It's really, it's really easy because all you do is just like mix it to water, mix it with water to like the consistency that you want. Oh, I missed out on the coupon. That sucks. Darn. And then, one of my friend's daughters made, um, I guess their family made like cookies over the weekend, so they brought me sugar cookies. So I'm going to have the Arctic Zero. What I'm thinking is I might just have like a little bit of both of them, top it with a sauce made from this, crumble some cookies on there, um, maybe some fruit, and that's going to be my snack for tonight. I'm excited. This is heaven. Yes. I
tried the chocolate for the first time, and it is really, really good. Uh, I think the vanilla is still my favorite. And I topped it with a banana and a sugar cookie and the peanut sauce, peanut butter sauce that I made, and real peanut butter, too. <laughs> so good. Also, I figured out why my flu shot hurt so bad. The woman, like, hit a nerve when she put the shot in. I don't know if you can see. No, you can't see it. But she had a nerve in my, literally my whole arm twitched. And, yeah, so that's why it hurt so bad. But I am going to end this vlog and enjoy this and watch Parks and Rec. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 17.